I am so excited. Inazuma 11 Victory Road Worldwide Beta Test Demo. Leave your Inazuma mark on the world. The longest title in history. But I'm gonna play it on my Nintendo Switch. Oh my god. The last mainline Inazuma 11 game released on December 5th of 2013 that's 11 years ago and we've got english commentary from me as well as from the game sure we all played galaxy in like 2020 or 2021 me other friends are playing the game that's a surprise well theat rhythm uh, is not quite <laughs> quite the correct game but 11 years since the last that's one released know. and even uh, since the last English language release was 2016, but Galaxy in 2013, that was 11 years ago in December. But that's why I think this the full game is going to release on December 5th. That's my prediction. Tw December 5th, 2024, the full game drops and marks 11 years since the last game. It is even on a Thursday. But right now, we have... Uh, a button, please. We have the real demo with online play, with single player content, with um, Haru Evans up in the top left, but maybe we'll learn his real name over the course of this. Um, I wonder where T Pistons' demo exclusive opening song plays, because it hasn't done it yet. I wouldn't be able to show it anyway, but can't do story mode until later. Chronicle mode is not in the demo. Um, the actual online Victory Road is not in the demo. Theater, you can't even stream that anyway. We've got options. It's still the same text noises as it always used to be, but um, all of these are fine. We've got the Inazuma post. Um, we can accept, we can send feedback using this QR code. That's nice. Well, let's just get into competition mode then. Oh, I want to hear the deepest and song, but it's not here yet. Compete against bots, because now video games are too afraid to use the word AI, because that has become uh, a slightly more bad thing. There's a tutorial on how to play the game. I could, I could watch it. Or for this very first video, I could just go straight into it. Uh, the easiest Inazuma class. I'm playing as the Inazuma All-Stars, um, so I have to unlock Alias Masters over the course of the demo, probably by beating one of these guys on a higher difficulty. But I want to play... So you're selecting the team to play against, so presumably afterwards it will ask me who I want to play as. The team with Jordan Greenway on it is the Inazuma All-Stars, so I'm going to play as them. So I'm going to play against the national champs. Sorry, Sean Frost. It's all right, lad. You can beat me in this opening game. But will I, though? That's the thing. Because, like, I've I've followed every bit of pre-release this video game has over the last A five years. Exhibition match is about to begin. Oh, commentary. The thing is, it seems quite hard. All the stuff with the defenders has not even, like, logged in my brain yet, the whole left or right castle walls thing um and then the goalkeeper mechanics apparently i'm not even in this demo yet oh ricardo's bringing the lads out caleb stonewall in hot pursuit um i haven't even been able to change my formation i've got special tactic waxing moon um jordan's on the bench so we need to get him on as soon as possible but for now um we'll see what we can do they feature I thought that was going to be Percival Travis's voice for a second there, but I love seeing his official With artwork the in the commentary anyway. No um, they've got Super Barrier. But their, their only goalkeeper is Sam. Like, <laughs> our team has the choice of both Mark and Darren. Um, so that'll, like... That'll go a long way for us, whereas the national champs only have Sam Gukhan. We even have JP on our team, but you can only use him as a defender. Uh, L and B to shoot. L plus A to dribble past. Okay, I'm glad it is actually forcing me to learn how to play the game. Haven't really read it that much. Gone. Re replay once, just for me. I think I've read all the words, but let's just make sure I absolutely know what to do. So I, I've been using B to pass so far, and that's 
still correct. Pass. You can even um, but shoot it's still B to shoot when you're actually in range. We broke through Tori's to castle wall thingies in the, the in the tutorial. Oh, A button also to tackle. Okay. Fine by me. Oh, and I've immediately given it to Caleb. No! And it's trying to give me another tutorial anyway on how to get it back. The player trying to steal the ball cyclone has to block sprint. The other player and I've never heard of cyclone sprint. What was that? Have they renamed a. Whirly you Whirly? By passing the ball Did they like the listen to all the feedback from the people who hate the dub names on Arian's moves, like Easy Breezy and Whirly Whirly, and then they changed them? We've had Illusory Ball instead of Illusion Ball, allegedly, but a for uh, the ball during a to match. actually read a the instructions again. The player trying to steal the ball has to block the other player and Ellen press A, a while the player with the ball has to make to my an commitment and also press A. You can exit by passing of the ball either with where B. to block or where to get past. Okay, well, it's not rigged in my favor. I'm oh, I'm going I have to go multiple times. It's not just a one and done selection. How do I uh, change my play? I'm using like entirely JP at the moment. Now it's so the the defensive zone. You can use this defense to stop the opposition's shots. Bear in mind that the Good job I did put my TV volume on until players on your team move to where it was placed. So be very careful where you place it. Oh no, I don't want to see a blasted straight pass mark like that in the tutorial! Um, yes, I'll use my castle wall and I'm going to put it here. Okay. Um, I'm pressing the B button more times isn't really helping, I don't think. I can technically put a second one, but... Catch mark? Well, he does catch it at least, and now they're going to tell me how to catch, even though I've just caught it. Um, as soon as we get past tutorial dimension, we will get in the spirit of it a bit more. But can I also say, I'm playing a brand new Inosuma 11 game at the moment? What? Oh, Mark's on the other side in the pitch. They expected to give you that tutorial when you're taking a shot, not when you're getting... A shot taken on. Alright, show me how to do Heaven's Time. I want that to be my first Isatsu I do in the game. So that I can then bring on Jordan and do Warp Drive instead. Um, or Lightning Sprint. I don't even know what his moves are in this. What if it's Astro Gate instead of Astro Break? That would be its first bit of attention in ages, but... Um, sorry, I have to watch this again. Let me listen. Taking on and winning the focus and scramble battles on the pitch accumulates tension. Yeah, you gain tension for winning interactions like the dribbling tension stuff. Required to unleash and then you can use it so to afford moves, to win each battle. which you do a whole lot more of. I haven't quite worked out how to do a dribbling move yet. I guess you, you get into a scramble and then it will give you the option to select it. Um, I can't afford Heaven's Time right now, but I happen to win by mashing and then I not gonna lie I saw the guys in the Inazuma Orion kit and I thought that was me um, anyway Caleb has been completely letting the side down right left left no lost right so oh they're going for a special tactic I've never heard of sideline spears before um, yeah you go on you can tell us how to do it X or y explosion button. You can the explosion tactics. but not it's just Special actual Pokemon tactics, which only explosion where we um, detonate on the pitch JP in the tactics, tutorial again but uh, JP's been the sort of MVP of the match he's lost half of the interactions he's been in but I've still ended up using him the most right tell me again he know please by pressing A, B, X, or Y while holding the L button, you can utilize tactics. Ah, hold there L are two kinds. and then pick one. Special tactics, which only affect the Give me March of the Penguin. <laughs> on the pitch. I need to win. And super tactics, which are distributed randomly. I'm going to assume that Waxing Moon is my dribbling one. Uh, let's just get JP into the area and oops. Okay, again. well, castle wall there, and can they, can they afford a special move yet? Because Mark sure can't. Um, yeah, I guess 
the wall is going to be my very first special move in the demo, which is an indication of how badly I've been playing, but does he still have to dribble past as well? No, well it's quite intuitive just pointing towards your guy and immediately pressing B. Oh, well never mind. As soon as I say that, um, I could not, I could not do in time. Uh, I, I keep pressing L to change who I'm in control of, like Mario Strikers, but that's just a guess. I can't do the wall again. I need my tension gauge for, like, anything else. Oh, I guess I do need it. They're going for Death Zone. Mate, it's over for me. My first time ever playing in Zimmer 11 Victory Road, and I am getting annihilated. Wait, why is it going over there? They're doing a shot chain, and they're passing backwards for it. Um, let's put another... Let's just do all we can. Oh, I can afford God Hand. I mean, it's not going to work, is it? It's bloody Death Zone. In a shot chain. Yeah, but my goalkeeper... Tension thingy isn't necessarily there yet, so let's just uh, try everything we can. Right, I need to... No, I'm going to pass to Arian, and I'm going to rely on the fact he's actually got um, a dribbling move to get it further up the pitch. I have midfielders, so I should use them for midfielding. Um, I'm not going to be able to afford a special move, but I'm at least in range now to take a shot. It will just be a very basic, normal shot, but... So you hold X time. to go into shooting, shooting mode. Victor's got Fire Tornado, Watch Double Drive, and Doom Sword Slash. Can be activated by the opposition um, too. So when I press X, I can choose between my moves. So God Hand V is Mark's other option. That's interesting. Um, let's do it now then. And all I can do is shoot and I completely whiffed! Oh no! I was trying... I mean, okay, it course corrected me anyway. But I, I aimed like... Nowhere near the ball there. I was basically trying to play it like Mario Tennis, where after taking a shot, um, JP is in defense, but he doesn't have any defending moves. Brilliant. Oh, well, here we go. Legendary Wolf. This has gotten out of control real fast. Um, yeah, whenever I take a shot in Mario Tennis, I always hit the ball, and then I... How did you send it over there, mate? Now it's my throwing up here in like a critical position. I can't seem to control where I'm doing it. Um, we're back in just with a automatic, I get. Oh, I can select it afterwards. Well, it's half time anyway, so I couldn't do anything with it. But yeah, lesson learned. Don't press the B button and then aim elsewhere. The aiming is still in effect. Sean's looking cocky because he's. He's got the lead on us at the moment. I think we're in the Rhyme and Go Stadium. Um, the goal belongs to Jude Sharp. 61% possession. But it's fine because I finally have access to the, to the formation. Um, what is Jordan's move? Can I, in theory, score with him? Um, well, I would expect to see the moves in that slot. He just... Does he not have any? Or is it only show... Bruh! Are you... Well, you've allegedly got double drive as well, right? Sure. I see Heaven's Time. I see Heartbeat. But he also has another one. Why is it not telling me any moves for Jordan? Even though it's giving me moves for also everybody else. I guess not Goldie, weirdly. Um, he... He must have one. Um, where else could I possibly check? Because I'm going to put him on anyway. If he doesn't have a move, then um, so be it. Arian, you've done your part. And Heath, what is your shooting move? I don't know, but um, we took one shot with you and it completely whiffed. So let's try Xavier. Um, the other two can survive. And... We'll go with that. We have a player substitution. We do have a player substitution. I have removed the main characters in favour of my funny aliens. Oh, it's their the kickoff as well. Um, right. Let's have this. The defence is something that... Oh, I have to mash. 
um, for a scramble. I mean, this is a really good improvement to the games because scrambles in the old Inazuma games pretty much used to just be RNG. Um, so now that there's actually some involvement, then press the button when the time is right. So it's timing based. Okay, I can handle it. <laughs> They've just won inspirational quotes within the tutorial. Master Jordan, obviously, so I completely, in that moment, forgot about the fact it's a timing-based minigame. Ooh, we clutched up there! Jordan the go and Pastor Xavier, he's got a... Okay, first it's telling us about the dash attack, which I think I just did with Jordan. Never mind, ZR and B to dash, that's how to run. But it probably runs down tension. And scatter any opponents that are oh, no, in the it way. Doesn't seem Be careful, to. Though, you might end up incurring a foul. You might incur a foul. That's if you crash into someone. Let's just rewatch to be certain, because I think I've got a shot here with Xavier. If you want to rapidly rush the opposition, hold ZR. Use the left stick to choose a direction. Then press B to dash attack. Okay, and I will use my special tactic at some point as well. opponents that are in the way. Be careful though, you might end up incurring a foul. Can't believe Goldie's fouled Hayzaki. This was, sorry, Elliot Ember, we're in the dub game here. Um, pass to X. Meteor Blast, oh no, it went into a tutorial, but it's yeah, direct shot. I'm Isagi from Blue Lock, but right now I want a Meteor Blade, please. That can beat Combustion Cat, surely. Just gonna make national champs the worst of three teams because their only goalkeeper is gonna be kind of ass, but I mean, he'll have a second move, surely. Fingers of Gaia might be decent, but they could have at least put JP on that team as a goalkeeper. Right, I'm mashing. In Japanese for now, Ryu said, but let it go in. Don't let it be go, Strength Meteor Blade. Let it be this game. He's going for a catch. What? Bro, Sam's level up. He just caught Meteor Blade in the palm of his hands. And I couldn't afford Heaven's Time because I've just used my move on Meteor Blade just to have it caught in his little silly fingers. I don't want to know about bond power right now, game. Can you not see I'm seething after an unbelievable L? I guess direct shot was the play, but surely everyone thought that was going in, right? Oh my word. Yeah, the defense. I'm going to have to get used to it. Fine, I'll watch the tutorial on bond power. The more you pass the ball to your teammates, the more bond oh, power so you'll build up. The power you've accumulated. Grand plan is added to the power an the inherent part of the game shot. now. But remember, Stronger shots for more passing, that makes sense. Ball, your bond power will deplete. So this game's meta is just gonna be people passing all over the place and avoiding interactions like crazy, probably. Uh, well, <laughs> Sean completely obliterated me there. I was just I was nowhere near him. I took a guess there, I, went, I mashed left, and I thought they wouldn't do it. Um, is it already shooting time? Tori doesn't even have a shot. Is there, it's, every time it lets me choose an up to three castle wall, but there must be some downside, right? To picking them all the time. Because I've only been putting down like one or two each time, but maybe I should just be doing all three. I don't know what the consequence is, because I need my tension gauge to take more shots like Meteor Blade, but um, whatever. We persist. Resume. Let's just put another one down anyway, see what happens. Uh, God hands. I want to be... I want to at least aim for a draw here in my first match. It's not looking good. But I'm not gonna. We don't know how the goalkeeper mechanics work yet, so I don't want to get. Oh well, it's over. Nathan, how have you? How have you actually allowed that to happen? Okay, they couldn't afford a move either. Um, but yeah, that's. Oh no, Mount Fuji! What's it? Do, just pass away, I don't... Back to Goldie, and I forgot it was a timing game again. Right, um... Let's pick one of these. See if it happens to be defensive. Flame Fortress. Um, which is now effective in this particular zone, but they're taking a shot on me anyway. Mark is at, like, zero. 
in terms of funny gauge thing. This special tactic isn't doing anything for me. What do I do? Um, uh, we're definitely in, like, some kind of special tactic, but all it's done is highlight the floor for me. It's not, like, done anything? Is it just gonna appear out of the ground now and stop the ball for me? Like, no. So, what did it do? Flame Fortress? It's still there right now! Like, <laughs> oh, Jordan's kick off. Um, Let's at least do a move with him for the sake of my thumbnail. All right, he can get fouled instead. I guess, I guess that still works to my favour. Past, past to Victor because at the moment save is not really. Uh, oh God, what am I doing? Direct shot, completely missed. Done it straight into Ito's legs. He's gone for Hunter's net. Fair enough. Um, can I take it from him? Well, I thought I could, but... Was this me? I kind of held down L and pressed a button. It did... I, I think that's me, but also... What does it do? Um, Jordan wins, because Jordan's the GOAT! And, oh, Xavier's so slow! Has to... Uh, timing minigame. Wait to do the timing minigame, Tails. Oh, my first time playing in Azuma 11 Victory Road ends in complete failure. But you know what? <laughs> I sure had fun anyway. Because um, I'm definitely playing a new in Azuma game. And I got absolutely owned. 35% possession. All of my dribbling interactions and blocking interactions that I won were a fluke. I did two special tactics and they were both completely useless. Let's cap off the video. Before I leave, let's read the tutorial on special tactics because I know how to activate them. I do not know how to make them okay. do anything. No, I don't. I can't, I, mate, this is a full video. I can't be doing the entire video tutorial. Help! There's a help menu. Okay. Let's find, well, castle wall I'll read because that's, um, so whenever a castle wall hits the shot, they lose a bit of power. And I guess there is no downside to putting many of them up because it's just, a, it rewards you for putting them in the right place rather than for trying in the first place. And it's to make your um, defenders more useful. So fair enough. The timing mini game, I need to stop rushing when that comes up. Like every time I've had a scramble, I just mashed and it punished me every time. Um, so let's just, so the dashing is one to try in the future as well, maybe. Fatigue is a factor as well. Um, but what, what I want right now is special tactics. And then in the next video, we'll just have another go basically and um victory stone chrono stones referenced um but where is it because then i will end the video as soon as as soon as i've learned ahead of the next one uh what's pk penalty kick oh we'll get that at some point right now you don't need to teach me what the offside is Tactics, special tactics. Okay, so... Some of these are just instructions and some of them might actually do something. So that's the one I was trying to do. So it appears on the pitch with a flash of light which only activate their effects within those geoglyphs. Geoglyphs. Um, and then... So, sweeping win for 30 seconds, 100% chance of winning focus and scramble. So, the one that I chose, completely at random, what does that one do? Do I have a way to check? Um, waxing Moon 
when tension's below 30%, you get better. That's quite a... So picking that on purpose and playing within that zone, when it's equivalent to like, blaze and overgrow from Pokemon, seems quite committal. For Flame Fortress increases your defender's power by 100%. But they still need to be in a defensive interaction in the first place, which is where I messed it up. And then Bond's protocol I did at the start. It boosts your shooting power by 200% upon passing, but I obviously didn't take a shot there. Well, okay, so special tactics. I'm glad they changed them, because in the previous games they were just auto-win and they completely kind of ruined the, the meta. They were always banned in tournament play and competitive. These clearly are not ban worthy, you've got to be clever with these and they don't just win the match for you, but I ain't ready for that yet. For now I'm learning the mechanics, so next video I will try again. See you soon.